Hey. All right. Can you hear me, guys? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. What's going on? Um, let me know if you can hear the music. I can never get the audio balance right. I just like to have a little background music in my lounge. This is the Lofty. Welcome to the Lofty Lounge. This is uh, Lofty Lounge number four. I forgot to put it in the title. I don't know how to do... Uh, like stream scheduling like i i guess i should pick a day of the week or something and then, i don't know oh my voice is too low huh yeah i think that happened last time i will uh yeah i'm gonna turn it up just slightly go up to uh, six and a half <clears throat> how's that is that slightly better or <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> Low voice. Um, yeah, there's supposed to be music in the background. I'm turning my gain up. Shouldn't be up very high. Hopefully not. I'll try to talk loud if I can. Um, if it's really low, let me know. We're going to talk about this this article. Well, we're going to talk about this study. Oh, boy. I'm not an expert. And I, I, I'm not a vaccine apologist. I'm not a vaccine. I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I'm not a, I'm not anything. Here's what, here's, here's where I'm coming from. First of all, before we break down this, uh, study that, that I don't think is actually a study. Um, I, a, think the mandates were a disaster. Uh, that's, that's where I'm coming from. I think you should have been able to choose what you want. <clears throat> Uh, I'll turn the music up a little bit. Um, now, all that stuff. I, 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 everybody was back in 2021, you know, we, we were all vocal about all this stuff. And I just was like, you know, if you want to get the vaccine, that's that's your prerogative. If you don't, you shouldn't be fired. You shouldn't be anything. And I actually was very, 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 very vocal about anti about um schools re requiring um kids to be vaccinated in order to attend schools this is, i got banned off facebook for this all kinds of stuff um yeah screw facebook <laughs> but no so that's where i'm coming from is like and a lot of that stuff was me doing my own research and the left people on the left telling me telling me what they thought was correct and i looked into it and then it turns out oh it's actually not correct one of those examples right of doing my own research was finding out that the death rates among children was a identical to the death rates actually less i'm sorry it was less than the death rates of the last flu um season and this was over the course of about a year of COVID, right? I can't remember the numbers, but it was like 400 and something children had died, died of COVID over the course of a year. Those are identical numbers to any flu season. Some of the higher ones are three, 400, right? Um, so anyway, I, all this stuff, it was like, you know, turned me off to the whole, like, listen to the experts thing. Now that the vaccines are coming out with information about how there's more side effects than we thought and all this stuff. And I'm, I'm, I'm not discounting any of that stuff. And can we even talk about this on stream? Am I going to get shot in the face? Uh. Drinking a coffee. 
Um, but no, I just like, I just, when I hear something, I don't even believe it anymore. It doesn't matter what side it's from. Don't believe it. Don't believe it. Especially if it's an expert. Don't believe it. So I look into it. You know, I, lately I don't care as much because I'm, 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 I'm tired of re I'm tired of paying attention to this every day for the past two years. I'm just tired of it. So I'm doing, you know, I'm just playing video games and stuff and trying to have, enjoy my life. Uh, but let me pull this, uh, let me pull this up. If somebody can get Peter McCullough on this stream, I will send him an invite. But I'm kind of half joking, but that would be awesome. Uh, let me find my chat box, bring that up here. And then let me find, okay. Well, first of all, hey guys, I, I, I will also preface this by saying I am vaccinated. <laughs> Maybe you could tell by the by the by my intelligence, right? <laughs> Isn't that the new insult? Oh my god, he sounds so vaccinated. I think that's funny. But here's where I'm coming from. I live with somebody who's physically handicapped, and I live with somebody who is on a trach a ventilator. Uh, they can speak, but they're they're plugged in, into a ventilator. I had to do everything in my power to not bring COVID into this environment because that would be very bad for this person. So uh, there's a chance if I was living on my own or something, I may, may not have gotten the vaccine. But you know what? Um, this person's health was more important to me than, you know, what I thought that the risks were at the time and even now, to be honest. It, it was an abundance of caution. That's how I, that's my story. Doesn't, I don't need to get into it anymore. But that has nothing to do with anything I'm talking about. We will talk about what I'm talking about as soon as I can talk about it. Uh, let me find the, the, there's a background button on this. Um, oh, there we go. This is my desktop so I can pull up stuff. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining. Fiend Machine, what's going on? Virasoft, what's going on? I saw some of you guys earlier. We, we already had some people yelling at me in the chat before it started, jumping to conclusions about what I'm about to say. I'm not even debunking Peter McCullough, his mRNA vaccine studies, you know, his, his history, nothing about the guy. Um, yeah, let's see here. Holy hand grenade keeps, you keep changing your looks. <laughs> uh going on snafu what's going on kenzo oh the music doesn't exist because i turned the desktop audio down that's why i think anyway there we go i fixed it i have to turn three different fucking nozzles on this stupid stream labs let me pull this up guys well first of all let me let me let me address this wait here let me pull this up so it can be in the background you guys can take a look at it does that can you see that put the chat a little bit down here uh so this guy whoops i'm doing the wrong there we go this is kind of what i'm what i'm going to be talking about in a second you know P dr peter mccullough you know we'll, we'll look at his profile in a second but i just want to say this the issue with the NFL player who collapsed the other day, by the way, RIP Uche, um, he was a great part of this community. I never got a chance to speak with him, but um, um, heard a lot of good things about the guy. And, um, you know, I just thought I'd bring that up because people were commenting all kinds of stuff. Um, I just wanted to say, I don't, I don't know him personally, but, you know, I was praying for his family and stuff. Um, but here, here, here's what I'm trying to say about this. The NFL guy who collapsed on the field uh, took a direct hit to his chest, right? We all saw this. We all saw this. One second later, he stands up. Well, I, I can pull the video up, actually. If, I can probably just pull this up. Um, but what I'm trying to say is, here's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I'm looking this up now. Daryl... Not Daryl Brooks. <laughs> I almost looked up Daryl Brooks. That was that crazy guy. Uh, what's his name? Ham, Ham, Damar, Ham, Lynn. Okay. 
The Mar Hamlin injury. I don't know if they're going to show it on YouTube. Well, they have to. They have to. Here it is. Here it is. Football is a physical. Oh, this is Ryan. Sport, I didn't even try that. It dangerous. Here comes Ryan but Kettle. What we're seeing tonight. Uh, out flat no, let me go to the actual. I thought I saw just it. Let it play out here. Yeah. All right. So this see, is what happened. This is Demar Hamlin right here. He takes He's getting hit. Shot. The white guy here, the, the not the white carrier. guy, the black guy in the white suit. Boom! A little bit to the helmet. Then we land. He lands. A little bit a little of a funny. hit, hard hit. Not not too hard. Lands, gets up, a little dizzy, collapses. Okay. And then he goes down. All right. I'm gonna minimize that for a second because that's what I'm trying to say here. Is people are using this as an excuse. Okay. What people are saying, many people are saying that was not a hard enough hit to do any kind of significant damage. NFL players take hits like that all the time. This mu therefore, this must be something else, okay? Very flimsy logic, but but that's the logic they're going with. Here's my point. Um, have you ever heard of a freak accident or a situation where a one in a 10, you know, 100,000 occurrence happens where somebody maybe steps, well, you see it in basketball, all, uh, actually, this happens in basketball. When so Have you ever seen an NFL, uh, NBA player go up for a rebound and come down and their leg snaps in half? That is a freak accident. That happens literally in, in that, that has happened multiple times in the NBA. You're, if you use the same logic where, oh, nothing happened. He just, you know, this wasn't that bad of a, uh, of a thing. And uh, it must have been related to something else. No, his leg just snapped because sometimes freak things happen. Okay. You can't use that as an argument. You can't. Here's another freak accident. This is not an accident, but this is a, uh, oops, I'm pulling this up. Let me find the, uh, here's another one. This is not an accident, <laughs> but it's a freak situation. Do you ever see this? This is Randy Johnson, baseball player, pitcher. Watch this. He's getting ready to wind up and throw a ball. You see that explosion? You see the explosion here? Watch this. Do slow-mo. Here it is. Boom. Hits a bird. Hits a bird. Okay? That is a freak accident. If you're telling me freak accidents can't happen, I, I'm just not going to uh, ever... I, I, I'm not going to talk to you about anything because you're in denial. You're absolutely in denial. If you're telling me that he didn't get hard enough, he didn't get hit hard enough, and... Um, that happens all the time in the NFL, and therefore there's a 0% chance that, that that could have caused the injury, you're absolutely in denial. So that, that that's number one. We're going to start there. Does that make sense to everybody? Probably going to have one person in the chat yelling at me. The hit isn't what caused cardiac arrest. Plenty of athletes collapsed without impact. Did you hear what I just said? I hope you did. <laughs> I hope you did. First of all, you, you can't say that with a certainty. The hit wasn't caused, it isn't what caused cardiac arrest, arrest. You don't know that for sure. Plenty of athletes collapsed without impact. Also, plenty of athletes collapsed while impacted, during impact. You can't use that argument. It's, it's not a, that's not an, that's not a guaranteed victory in an argument in, in this situation. You can't do it. You have to rely on other data and information, which we don't have. I'm not saying it was the it was not the vaccine, okay? Oh, maybe you agree agreeing with me. I read that wrong. I don't know. Lofty, how much football do you watch? I watch it every week. I'm a big Chargers fan. Every single week, they're in the playoffs now. So I don't know if you want to use a, a you know who's the bigger sports fan is like part of your defense. You're going to lose that one for sure. Um, which is a stupid stupid thing to ask, but okay. Uh, again. You don't have to be a football fan to know that the guy was hit and half a second later he collapsed after he was hit. To me, if it wasn't related to the hit, that would be an extreme coincidence, right? And that's possible. That's very possible, right? But you have to consider the hit. You just have to because of the, the proximity to... Uh, it was like one second later. Are you going to tell me that athletes are collapsing on the sidelines 
just standing there, nothing. Why didn't he collapse on the, uh, you know, before the game or after the game started? Why did he collapse one second after a very hard hit to the chest? Which a friend of mine has confirmed, by the way, who was at the game, that he heard that hit from the stadium, from the stands. It was a hard hit. Okay. Now, let me read your, what you're saying here. Lofty, in your opinion, would weakened heart, weakened heart muscles make a hit like that worse? Of course. Any underlying condition. That, that hit might have jarred some sort of underlying condition. That hit may have caused a minimal, minimal fractional tear in some sort of muscle that that somehow led to his heart being, you know, giving out on him. Like, it, it's very, very possible. If you, don't, if you don't agree with that, you're just absolutely in denial. Um, you know, I mean, I guess I could invite you on stream if you want to actually provide provide a reason why you we're saying these things but i don't think you want to come on my stream right now because you're going to get just annihilated but um here's the deal guys the guy could be doing now i'm not saying it was the hit i think i said that i guess i have to repeat myself just in case people don't listen to everything i'm saying maybe i'll talk slower earnhardt's crash didn't look hard <laughs> i think you're trolling at this point Sumo. Um, I hope so. I hope you're trolling. <laughs> it's hard to tell when people are trolling, isn't it, guys? It's kind of hard to tell. Um, yeah. Maybe his underlying condition was four experimental shots that act affected his heart. Possibly. Possibly. That could be a possibility. Uh, we're talking about the vaccine. That's a possibility. I never ruled that out. Yeah, debates are cancer. Debates are cancer. Well, actually, I, I like debates, personally. But a lot of the times, they are cancer. Sometimes they're not cancer. Sometimes they're awesome. Um, it depends. It's not a, you know. No, I'm not saying debate me. I'm just, I'm saying, I'm not inviting you on. I'm telling you that. I'm just saying. You'll, you'll, you'll lose the argument anyway. And it's just, I, I'm not even inviting you on. Uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Heart failure is due to added stress to the body. Guys, look, look, listen, let's get to the, I can't tell how many of you are trolling. It's very, very difficult here. Um, Lofty, how much, okay, you already read that one. Um, players weren't collapsing like this in the 70s. How do you know, Mike Floyd? Do you have studies to back that up? I mean, honestly, because I, I looked into this and yes, they were collapsing in the 70s. Cardiac arrest, if you just, th this is, th by the way, heart disease is the number one cause of death on the planet Earth. I don't know why we're gaslighting. I honestly have no idea why we're gaslighting. People did collapse. Many soccer players prior to 2021 collapsed on the field. This happens much more frequently in soccer. Okay. Um, I don't know of an incident happening in this specific way in the NFL before. There have been many situations where players don't get back up from hits, though. Yeah, that's correct. This is a this is a new situation. This is a new situation, and it's it it could very well be a freak situation, which is why it's it's so new, right? The last time Hollywood sh shot and killed somebody, or actually, the last was like Brandon Lee, right? Forty years. That's forty years is a long time, right? Um, doesn't mean things can't happen, right? Um ever like you got to have a first of, for something right can't just never have something ever happen well you can but like anyway that, we're getting off track guys i'm bringing in bringing this in right now i'm gonna pull up the this is what he says dr peter mercullo right so i don't you know i watched this joe rogan appearance i liked it um that was a route. Mason says that was a routine hit. The guy's been hit like that a thousand times, though. Hey, Mason, can you maybe you missed what I said before, but I'm just going to spell this out very, very, very slowly and clearly. Have you ever seen an NBA player snap his leg going up for a rebound and just landing on the ground and snap his leg in half? Th guess what happens all the time? People going up for rebounds and, and they don't have their legs snapped. Sometimes freak accidents happen with the body. 
Okay, it's the same exact analogy. You can't say that that was a routine whatever, therefore it's impossible that it caused the injury. You can't say that. Um, yeah, no, nobody, nobody, by the way, nobody start hating anybody here. Okay, we're all just ha trying to get through, you know, information, valid information. I want to read this. With 95% league vaccinated and NFL prominent recipient, recipient of the whatever the hell that is, funding. It is ethical obligation of the patient's family, league, doctors to disclose his status. It factors into medical decision making for him and the other players. That's I don't have a problem with that at all. I don't have a problem with that. I'm going to mute my music for a second because I'm going to play this video. Okay. Give me a second. All right. We're going to play this video. He was in the Whoops. I did see head and neck uh, contact. Can you hear tackle, this? Which is not uncommon at all in football. Remember that the shoulder pads have Turned a breastbone a protector. So they take helmets in the chest all the time. A, a condition that occurs rarely in baseball called commotio cordis, where, where a baseball hits an unprotected breastbone, can precipitate a cardiac arrest. It's about 20 to 30 cases per year. It's never actually happened in pro football. So we quickly ruled that one out. You know, my conclusion is, so first of all, I'm going to finish the video, but he said it's never happened in football, so we ruled it out. That's something I disagree with. Just because something hasn't happened before doesn't mean it can never happen, okay? That is not scientific at all. That's not scientific. You can't rule something out because it hasn't happened before, okay? You can't do it. You just can't do it. And... And maybe it has happened before, but we just don't keep records of that kind of stuff dating back to, you know, I, I just not, I, I am not buying that. Argument. It was a primary cardiac arrest. Michelle Tafoya, a former NFL analyst, has seen a lot of injuries. Uh, she concluded, you know, it wasn't uh, obviously a concussion or something like that. And I think all experts now have settled on a primary cardiac arrest. Now, in professional athletes, many of the causes of primary cardiac arrest of man his age have already been ruled out because the athletes are so heavily evaluated and scrutinized before they're yes. ready to play. Uh, but I think what's looming large and the reason why there was such emotion, uh, you saw the emotion not only on the commentators, Skip ahead players, a little bit. up until I brought it up yesterday on national TV as the first public figure, is COVID-19 vaccination. And what we know here, recently I've published with Dr. Polycretis, from Europe, that before COVID-19 vaccines, the average number of cardiac arrests in all of the European soccer and football leagues, which is way more players than the NFL, the average number of cardiac arrests were 29, 29 per year. That's before the vaccines. The vaccines were ushered in in 2021. And since that time, um, the tally now for cardiac arrests on the field with uh, professional uh, sports players in yes. Europe, 1598, 11 of one of them have been fatal cases. So he just said here, just said, doctor, you know, PhD doctor, you know, genius, said on national TV that 1,598 people have suffered cardiac, athletes since 2021 have suffered cardiac arrest and 11,000, oh, sorry, 1,100 of them have died, have been fatal. He just said that, right? Fatal, not two thirds, nine. Let's go back. Of sports players in Europe, 1,598 Eleven of one of them have been fatal cases. Fatal. Not two thirds cannot be resuscitated. So Damar Hamlin was very fortunate. He was in the third okay. that was uh, successfully resuscitated and survived thus far. But this is a giant uh, observation. Polycretus and myself are calling for investigation. Okay. And uh, what I Polycretus is re referencing this other guy. He's calling for an investigation. Okay, that's now. How about this? How about we look at the study and do our own little investigations? Let's just, let's just hypothetically say this guy was on the far left and he was saying the exact opposite of what this guy is saying. Okay, let's just be, do a little hypothetical. And you and you in your you know hesitancy to to dis, to not believe the experts, quote unquote, did do the right thing and do your own research. Right, that's what you're supposed to do. But because this person, right, is an expert on quote unquote your side or whatever if you're on this side if you're if you're being a hypocrite and not doing the same thing you would do to the other side well i don't know what to tell you i don't know what to tell you um now 
Let me read chat for a second, because we're going to go into his study that he references with all of those deaths. Um, no, I don't think you're a hater, Sumo. I'm not angry at anybody. I, 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 it's confusing to talk in comments on YouTube I, and, and on Twitter. It's just it's hard to have a conversation. Um, how many of those cardiac arrests were due to the vaccines and how many are due to COVID? Yeah, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get into that for in a second. Uh, Suma said Brett Weinstein on Joe Rogan explains things well. Yeah, I'm going to watch that one tomorrow. He was just on Joe Rogan. I'll watch that one. I like Brett Weinstein. I like his brother. I like Joe Rogan. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, let's, let's see here. Um, oh, Shag's here. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. We're, we're about to dive into this guy's study. Okay. Uh, 300 deaths from the 70s to the to 2020. Heart. Okay, so anonymy a money wilson says this in the in the chat 300 <clears throat> excuse me 300 deaths from the 70s to 2020 from heart failure 300 cases since 2021 of collapsed heart failure that is a published study well you can send me that study i would love to look at that live on stream um never seen i've never heard of that okay <laughs> uh and i looked i looked into this uh I looked at th that's what this guy here is, is saying. We're going to look at his study and he's saying way more than 300, by the way, since 2021. Okay. Um, you know, yep. Feel free to send that to me on Twitter. That's fine. What's going on, Zach's? I was on Zach's stream last night. He does really good, um, like, you know, entertainment stream stuff. Go on, uh, sub he's, Zach's, he's in the chat. Go sub to his channel and sub to Shag's in, in, in the chat. Hey, Lavon, what's up? What's up, Mason and, and uh, River Miles? Okay, let me pull this up. Okay, let me get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that. Let me get rid of the Randy Johnson. Is that the, yeah, let me get rid of that. All right, now we have this. Okay, this is what we're gonna take a look at in a second. All right, guys. Calm down. We're, we're learning. We're learning to do our own research. You know, and I took a little bit for me to figure this out. I asked people to send me links to the, to the study and all this stuff. They did. Okay. Here's Dr. Peter McCullough. This recent paper from Polycretus, Dr. Polycretus and myself, um, who doesn't have a Twitter, but that's fine, uh, gets the sharp rise in athlete deaths into, P I don't know what this word means. Since vaccination. 1,598 athletes suffered cardiac arrest, 1,101 of which were deadly outcome. Over a prior 38 years, from 1966 to 2004, a total of 1,101 athletes under the age of 35 died. Okay. Now, he doesn't say died of anything. He just, he just says died. But I, I'm going to take his word for it that he means of cardiac arrest. Okay. All right, guys, this is going to get really awkward. If, if, you're, if you're a fan of this guy, <laughs> this is going to get awkward. Um, he leaves a little piece of paper here, okay, right? He has another. I'm not going to play this. You can, you can go on, you know, you can look all this stuff up yourself. Oh, I got a lot of notifications. Oh, boy. I don't know if people are yelling at me or whatever. Okay, let's, let's keep that open for now. No, wait, no, no. Now, let me keep this in mind, guys. This is Dr. Peter McCullough. He has 724,000 followers on Twitter. Very popular person, okay? It shouldn't be a wild theory to think that sometimes people in positions of power like this will exaggerate parts of their agenda in order to gain followers, okay? This is just... Now, I'm not saying that's what he's doing, but I'm saying maybe keep that in the back of your head, okay? Just keep that, because that's what, that's what people do, guys. You know, the left does it and every, every political side. Can okay, we read chat for a second? Oh, thank you, Jonathan, for uh, the donation. Um, you don't look into a study and check the method used. You just listen to the journalist that says this study proves X. Okay, wait a minute. Jonathan says, no, you don't. I think he's being sarcastic. He says, you don't look into a study and check the method. You just listen to the journalist, to the journalist 
that says this study proves X, right? Well, no, that you do the opposite of that, right? <laughs> I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. I hope so. <clears throat> A solid red field. What's going on? Hey, Summers. Summer is 19. What's going on? Nice, nice to meet. I see you. Or, um, yeah, let's see. Um, all right, all right, we're we're gonna we're gonna get get into this now. Okay, I'm minimizing this. I'm gonna pull up this. I'm trying not to, guys. I'm trying not to leave anything out. I I, I I'm if I'm forgetting anything, let me know. Um, all right. What do we got here? What do we got, guys? Okay. Here's the study he linked to. This is the one that that he's talking about that he co-wrote with this guy or whatever. Rational harm benefits assessment by age group are required. Now, now, okay, here's the Dr. Pollock Terrace guy that he was mentioning, right? I'm not going to read this entire study. I will show you this, though, okay? Watch this. Ready? It, this is this is in the in the study here. It says notably, maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. Uh, okay. Notably, in a 38-year time span from 1966 to 2004, 1,101 athletes under the age of 35 died. That's what he mentioned in the tweet. Okay. Due to various heart-related conditions. Okay. This is in this study, right? Then we have this. The previous sentence from January 2021 to the time of the writing, 1,598 athletes suffered cardiac arrest. Keep this is very important. 1,100 of which with a deadly outcome. This is a study. This is the study. Can we all can we all please agree that this is the study that he's referring to, right? This is what everybody is sending me, right? This is the one that everybody's linking to. Now, if we can agree on that, we can easily shut this entire thing down by going to now. Look, let me let me go back to this sentence that I just read. Okay, do you guys know what a what a what one of these is? Where you click the little number on the, at the end of the sentence, it brings you to the to the source, right? To the I'm sorry, down to the references. This is where he's getting that information. Okay. This is the sentence I just read to you. 1,598 athletes suffered cardiac arrest. 1,100 of them died. Number eight. We're going to number eight, guys. We're going to go directly to the source, okay? Directly to the source. Here's number eight. This is what he says. This is where he's getting this information, okay? We're going to click this link, okay? It's right behind my face. We're going to click this link. Watch this. <laughs> now, I already have it open. Let me, let me find um, the actual. Here it is. Here's the link. Okay. Oops. Here it is. Here it is, guys. Meat and potatoes. 1616 athlete cardiac arrests. Serious issues. 1414 of them dead since COVID injection. This is the direct reference that they use to construct the sentence in that study that Dr. Bacullo is repeating on live television. All right. This is the study. You can read all this on your own. Okay. I retweeted it with a link. It's on my Twitter. You can read all this on your own. We are going to do this. This is what we're going to do. Okay. He has a little, nice little graph. Here we go. This story will grow over time as new information is added. If you have if you have proof of information that we don't already have, or if you have a correction, please send it through to our contact form. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll do that. Uh, with as much information as possible. Useful information would, would be a person's name, age, what happened to them. Okay. He, they're currently reviewing 39 reports. All right. Uh, as of December 9th, a month ago. So this hasn't been updated in, in, in about a month. For the skeptics who believe this is normal, feel free to repeat the following 18 words after reading each name on this list. Now, this is prop. This is straight up propaganda. Watch this. Watch this. 
the, it's emotional manipulative propaganda. For the skeptics who believe this is normal, feel free to repeat the following 18 words after reading each name on the list. So they're guilting you into, into, into some sort of like subliminal messaging here. Repeat this after reading each line. The COVID vaccine is a normal vaccine. The COVID vaccine is safe. These injuries are deaths and deaths are normal. Okay. It, this is very like reminiscent of like fucking they live and all this other, you know, you know, fear mongering. Now, I love that movie. That's a great movie. But this is this is pure propaganda. Now, watch this. Okay. This is a list of every death that they that they are including, which I actually was impressed. I, I wasn't expecting to find this. I thought they made up the number, but no, this, they get all the deaths. Look, we're going all the way down. Okay. Oh, okay. It's more than I thought. Okay. They actually do reference all the deaths. Okay. Wow. Okay. We got 1601. Now, we're going back to the top for a second. Okay. Whoa. Sorry if I just gave you a, a seizure. Uh, Goodsciencing.com sounds legit. Yeah, River, it doesn't. It doesn't sound very legit. Uh, Suma says, I want to know, though, what was the demographic on countries? Because AstraZeneca was probably the worst. I don't I, I don't know, Sumo, but I don't think it matters. And, um, and I'll tell you why uh, in a second. We're going to go through some of these deaths and we're going to we're going to I'm going to show you that this is an entirely bogus study. OK. Um, hail, hail everybody in the chat. Thanks for joining. Please stick around because you can use this information and it'll be very helpful to have this information. Please share this, by the way, on Twitter and stuff. I want to get more people involved in this, if possible. All right. December 22, they break it down by month, right? So they list all of the deaths, and these are all athletes, right? This is a freaky, this, this, on the surface, it looks terrifying, okay? We're going to go in and click on some of these. I haven't done, I, I clicked on like, I think 18 links out of the 1,600. So this is all, so this is going to be new to me, some of this stuff. Ready? All right. Uh, December 12th, 2022, England. Oscar 14 su suffers cardiac arrest while riding his mountain bike. Rapid treatment was, and was taken to the hospital. Four days in an induced coma and will need open heart surgery. Okay, so this guy didn't die, right? But this is a kid. He shouldn't be dying of cardiac arrest. So let's open the news story. 14-year-old boy's heart stopped beating while he was out riding his bike. Okay. This is a tragic story, right? Um, you know, this this seems like a terrible, 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 terrible thing. Okay. Now, okay, okay. If you click on it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm buying it. I'm buying it. Maybe that was the vaccine, right? It doesn't say in the article, but you know, I can't. I, by the way, guys, I can't dive into every single one of these. Okay. I'm just going to show you what I what I'm talking about. All right, so let's give them a point, right, for their study. Let's give them a point. They they got my okay. Maybe they're intriguing me a little bit here. Okay. Uh, unnamed male, forty nine, table tennis player suddenly collapses during a competition. Okay, let's open this story. All right. All right, a little bit sus, you know, website, but that's okay. A 49-year-old man who's participating in table tennis on Sunday died after being hurt. According to whatever, the police were alerted during the competition. The man, a man was hurt. Dispatched, blah, 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 blah. Uh, despite the applied resuscitation maneuvers, maneuvers that the medical crew had declared the man dead. Police are continuing to investigate. Right? That's the article. No name, no cause of death whatsoever. They are including that on this list. Okay? All right, it's possible this was vaccine related, but it's also very possible that it wasn't, okay? So let's go back, okay? They have a second story of the same person, okay? Apparently he died, right? Another bare bones, ridiculously, uh, no information in this article, no information whatsoever, doesn't matter according to the scientists though apparently they're just going to they're just going to chalk this up as a, as a vaccine death with absolutely no information whatsoever okay so they're going to count that towards the 1500 or whatever the 1100 that that um that died that's fine right 
Now, you could do this with all these. There's a lot of very vague information, right? A lot of very vague information. There's blood clots. Um, there's all kinds of stuff, right? Uh, you know, fi here's a guy, 54-year-old football player, uh, collapsed due to cardiac arrest and died. Well, you know, that sometimes happens. Like I said, heart attack, heart, heart failure is the number one cause of death on the planet Earth, guys. This sh this should be something everybody knows. Now let me go let me show you what I'm what I brought you here for today. I gotta find it on my own Twitter timeline because this is I gotta go to the actual number. Okay, so it's number three hundred and eighty three. So let me go to three eighty three. <clears throat> go back down to three eighty three, right? 383. All right. May 7th, 2022, Cyprus. You guys see this? Can you see this? Let me, let me zoom in. Oops, a little bit too far. This is number 333. We're supposed to, we're supposed to do that little mantra after we read all these names, right? This is a, okay. Ben Woods, amateur Lee East rugby league player, was on a family holiday in Cyprus. He was pulled out of the hotel swimming pool, could not be revived, and later died. Here's the news story. Okay. Ben Woods, 21, was with his family on the coast of the Mediterranean island when tragedy struck. Okay. Pulled out of a swimming pool at the, at the hotel, but could not be revived and later passed away. This guy drowned in a pool, and they're counting it as a COVID vaccine death. This is fucked up, okay? This is, this is one example, okay? Please, everybody, can you please, can we all be on the same page about this? Can we, can we be on the same page about this, guys? This is ridiculous, okay? This is ridiculous. Maybe if for some reason the vaccine made his heart stop and he drowned, right? Ah, it's a possibility. But it's also possible he was drinking and he collapsed and 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 into a pool and drowned. There is no information about this. There is no information in this entire article. Why are scientists, why is Peter McCullough using this as a statistic to prove something, you know, his his hypothesis about cardiac arrest? First of all, the, he didn't die of cardiac arrest. He didn't die of cardiac arrest. Let's go back to Peter McCullough's uh, assertion. Let's go back to the top. Oh, wait, no, that's not this one. It's not this one. I think I accidentally deleted it. Uh, let's go back to it. Here it is. Here it is. This recent paper that I'm reading to you with the, with, with the references that I'm reading to you are from this paper. Gets the sharp rise in athlete deaths, uh, blah, 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 blah. 1,598 athletes suffered cardiac arrest, 1,100 of which with a deadly outcome, okay? Where's the cardiac arrest? Where's where's that, okay? That guy died of a heart attack, uh, um, of drowning in a pool. That's one example, okay? Let's go back. Oops, let's go back. Where are you guys at, chat? Where are you guys at? Some of these look sus to be sure. How about almost all of them look sus? How about that? Let's go to 300 and let's, let's check this out. All right. All right. Let's just click on some of these. Um, I'm trying to find some in the U like a, U a country that's going to take me to a news story with, with English language here. Um, all right. Here's Paul Hannon, runner, medical doctor, Olympian sailor. Okay. Chief emergency medicine, uh, blah, 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 blah. Collapsed and died unexpectedly while out for a run. Let's click on this one. All right. I remember five years ago when doctors collapsed, uh, th th there was some other conspiracy. Do you guys remember that conspiracy where they were killing doctors for some reason, holistic doctors? Now, instead of that conspiracy, everybody switched to the, to the, to the vaccine conspiracy because it's a little bit more convenient for modern day politics. Uh, so I don't know. You know what I mean? All right. So this guy collapsed. Let's see what happened to him. Um... Died Saturday of sudden cardiac arrest while out for a run. All right. Now, look, this guy's 50 years old. All right. Early 50s, right? Uh, my dad, by the way, is, is in his 50s and he runs marathons. And 
you, you would be surprised how many people every marathon, well, not just marathons, but in general, who have very fit bodies in their late age will suffer cardiac arrest. It happens very frequently. It's the number one cause of death in the world. Okay. There's no information in this entire article that suggests that this was vaccine related. Okay. Now, this was cardiac arrest. Okay. I'll give it that. Let's go to another one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Anthony Zoli, New Jersey, dead, skateboarder, snow snowboarder, high school student, died unexpectedly. News story. Let's click it. Beloved, oh, beloved Hunterdon County high school student died unexpectedly at his home on Friday. He was 16. Okay, let's find out. Let's find out what happened here. Let's find out what happened. <clears throat> All right. Let me let me let's get to the part where it talks about how he died. Uh, not finding it, guys. Not finding it. Not finding it. Not finding it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm not finding it. It's not in the article. Not in the article. Now, here's here's one of my theories. Have you ever read an obituary where somebody died unexpectedly and they don't want to reveal the information because the person committed suicide or there's a privacy complaint? This happens all the time. All the time, guys. The, if this... If the words died unexpectedly is enough to get you thrown on a list of guaranteed vaccine deaths or cardiac arrests, this is there's no cardiac arrest in the fucking article. No, it doesn't mention it anywhere. OK, and not only that. It was the only news story linked in this study. Guys, these Almost all of these are sus as fuck. Almost all of them. You guys could go just start clicking through all of these. You could keep, you could just click through all of them. Some of them are cardiac arrests, right? Some of them are. Some of them are. Okay. Um, like I said, it's a common thing. Now you're going to have to do a different fucking study and delete all of the bullshit ones off this list and come up with a study, compare it to a study that, that that talks about deaths prior to 2021. You're going to have to do that if you want to even be, like hold a conversation about this. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have to drink something. Give me a second. Ooh, my voice is uh, I'm tired. Um, let me read what you guys are saying. Commit suicide is wrong thinking. Well, it could be wrong thinking. You could have died for some other reason, but it doesn't say cardiac arrest in the, in the article. Out of 160 names on the list, only about 500 actual references to cardiac arrest directly. See, there you go. I don't know how. He, I mean, he, you might be. Maybe you. Maybe you looked at that and did that. I haven't done that research yet, but you're very possibly right about that. Uh, that's not a study. Somebody says. Somebody else says. So are myocardi uh, some are myocarditis as well. Could be, right? Could be. Also, how many of these people are vaccinated? We don't even know. We do not know. Okay, there's no information. Um, did he die? Someone said, did he confirm he died of drowning? Wasn't even confirmed in the article, but it said they pulled him out of the pool dead. Wasn't even confirmed. So, so, you know, he, he, I'm guessing he drowned. He could have been shot in the face and shoved into a pool. Like it doesn't fucking say stop trusting people who have bullshit studies like this and stop linking them and tagging me in them. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to call you out on it. Okay. I'm, I'm going to call you out. And if you're using this as like your, your holy grail of like why vaccines are killing people, you've already lost. Okay. You've lost. You just lost. Now, like I said, if other studies, I don't care. I don't have a problem with, I don't have a problem with, um, studies about, um, side effects from the vaccines or, um, the fact that vaccines don't have any other like significant, you know, uh, uh, um, trans transmission effects uh, than the, like an unvaccinated person. Like, all that stuff, I am totally on board with the fact that I think the vaccine mandates were a disgrace to our country and to the world. You have to be able to separate. You guys have to be able to look at somebody and talk to somebody who disagrees with you about one specific thing and not lump them into a category and call them a like a vax tard or something. You, you got to stop doing that. It's like when the left calls everybody an anti-vaxxer. 
or the left calls everyone like racist or something like it's just it's the same fucking thing, guys. It's the same thing. I'm not a, va a vax tart. I'm not a vax tart. I don't like Fauci. I think he's a fucking I don't dude. I, I can't stand Fauci. I can't stand him. I think he's doing the majority of what he's doing for attention. Um, and I think most likely it was leaked from a lab that he funded. That's the, just from my research. That's what it sounds like to me. Most likely. Let's look at some others. Okay. And this is not going to be a long stream, guys. This is the only thing I'm talking about today because this study is going all over the place. Question everything. That's correct, Jack. Is the low man on the totem pole or in the warpath? That was from last night's stream. Uh, Levon says she agrees. Agrees 100% or he, I'm not sure. Uh, what about long COVID? People keep, keep talking about. Long COVID could cause heart problems. Guys, if you, I, I, ha I had COVID. You know, I got COVID after I was vaccinated. <laughs> now, I could have, it, it's, it's, it's possible that because I was vaccinated that the COVID um, did less harm to my body. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. There's too many studies and too many people saying a billion different things for me to care about getting to the bottom of that at this point. But um, long COVID is people who have had COVID very likely could have fucked up some of their heart muscles or have been vaccinated. I'm not saying the vaccines didn't do any harm. OK, it's possible that maybe 20, I don't know, maybe 500 of these are caused by the vaccine. I don't know. Or or 10 of them. <laughs> you know, I don't know the answer to that, guys. I'm saying you what I'm what I'm responding to primarily is people who are laughing and pointing and and mocking and 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 falling in this into this false sense of like some sort of god complex where you're so much better than everybody else because you believe some study and they don't and the other person is an NPC and you're some sort of enlightened human being that kind of rhetoric and that kind of behavior is what I'm pushing it back against because a lot of people that are like that are actually stupid people that read headlines and don't read studies. They're actually very stupid. There are so many low IQ people on the planet Earth, guys. So many on your own side, even. Low, very low IQ, okay? Very low IQ. And I'm talking about stupid people who are on Twitter, right? You can't <laughs> like, guys, I'm talking about every side, all over the place, all over the place. This is why you should do your own research, your own research. Don't just, why is Peter McCullough sharing this? He's a doctor. He should look at some of these and go, look, oh, here, let me find another one. Let's go down to, uh, let's go down to, hold on a second the fuck is this? 6669, six, Florida. Clara, 19. Tennis player. Let's click on the story that they link first, because maybe they mispronounced it. Oh, my God, guys. Okay. Six, number 669, right? This is supposedly to count one, count, to counting towards one of, those, one of those deaths or one of those cardiac arrests. Clara Tawson, tennis player, retired from her tennis match against Zhuang, uh, Shui Zhang, in the Miami Open, 14 other players also retired from the tournament. Here's the news story. Miami Open's carnage, 15 tennis players unable to finish contests, including male and female favorites to win. Why is this? Let's find out. Fans witnessed unprecedented number of withdrawals. Uh, why are they withdrawing? Let's let's let me let me get to the let me get to the the most shocking moments of the event occurred when both favorites, blah, 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 retired from their quarter quarterfinal contests on the same day. Uh, they're, so they're retiring. They're, they're quitting the game. Um, okay. Yahoo Sports says soon to be World 3 uh, in tears after she was forced to bow out of the corner fighters after not feeling well. Bosa admitted she wasn't sure if she could compete in her fourth round match that she subsequently won. Okay, so they're feeling sick or they're feeling unable to. Okay, so they're retired. She retired sick at four to one in the unfortunate circumstances. Okay. So she was sick. Sick with what exactly? Um, dropping like flies, 15 withdrawal from competition. Why is this? Is there a heat index that on this page that I, was it very hot that day? Is anybody, is there any information about why people were getting sick on this entire article? Nope. 
That's fine. Oh, the elephant in the room. Based on the U.S. requirements, all the players except of Apicella m must be fully vaccinated. So there's the uh, there, there's the agenda, right? They put they they, I I guess they're just assuming that they're all, vax because they're vaccinated, that's why they're getting sick. Uh, no information of cardiac arrests which is what this is a whole thing is supposed to be about. They're all supposed to have cardiac arrest issues. Guys, I don't know. This is everything I click on is sus. Every single one of them. Like I said, some of these could be legit. Some of these could be legit. Uh, Sumo says, oh, let's see here. Um, she's still alive. Yeah, she's still alive. She had a bad burrito. I mean, guys, couldn't they have, be, have had had heat stroke? Like, is that a possibility? Right? There's no information in the, in the article. I'm not going to, I'm not going to speculate. Um, all right, let, 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 let. guys, I'm telling you right now, here's the, let me find that. Let me go back. Let me go back. This is the study. Okay. This is the study that he's referring to. Like I said, here's the sentence from January, 2021 to the time of this writing, 1,598 athletes suffered cardiac arrest, 1,100 of which with deadly outcome. When you click the footnote here, it brings you to the article. Here's number eight. Click it. It brings you directly to this list that we're reading off of. We already read a bunch that had no information about cardiac arrest. None. No information. <clears throat> like I said, guys, there are so many in here. I, I, I can't find it, but there was a person in here that died after six surgeries. Complications from surgery. That shouldn't count on this list. There was another person who fell down a hill and like sustained injuries. After hiking, that shouldn't count. I, I, I'm not going to go through all of these, but you can do it yourself. I'm telling you, everything. This is the most sus study I've ever experienced. Died from stomach cancer. Holy shit. Okay. 485, Missouri, 2022. Justin Hardy, basketball player, Washington University. He died from stomach cancer. How is this on the list? Guys, I'm just clicking random ones. I'm clicking. I'm not trying to find these. Washington State University basketball player Justin Hardy dies after stomach cancer diagnosis. Okay, here we go. After 13 months courageously redefining what it means to live with cancer, Justin passed peacefully earlier this morning. He was diagnosed with stage four stomach cancer. I'm not even fucking. I'm done with this article. I'm done with that one. Let's find another one. Um, Like, guys, 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 guys. This is what was making me a little bit irritated today. I didn't even want to stream tonight, but um, I really wish um, I really wish we could all be on the same page because I'm kind of with you guys on a lot of the vaccine mandate stuff. And I wish that I didn't have to feel stupid standing next to some people on this side of the aisle. But unfortunately, you know, people screaming at me uh, because uh, when I when I when I say that, I don't believe some of this stuff. They're screaming at me, calling me a vax tard. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't make them look good. It makes them sound stupid and like they're, like they're mentally challenged or something. And uh, it doesn't make me feel any, it doesn't like, you know, when you yell at somebody like that, I don't feel bad. I feel like I'm like, they're not making me feel bad. They're making themselves look stupid. I don't know why. You know what I mean? Uh, holy shit. Check 1064. Okay, let's go to 1064. Let's go to 1064. Uh, hold on a second. Meanwhile, you've passed some that said cardiac arrest. Yes, Sumo, I already said that. I already said that. There's a bunch on here that died of cardiac arrest. You know what else I said? I already said that cardiac arrest is the number one cause of death on the planet Earth. Go look it up. I'm not going to do that homework for anybody. It's the most common thing everybody should know. It's something you should have learned in high school. Are you going to count every cardiac arrest death as possible COVID? All of them? Even though it's the number one cause of death on the planet Earth? Please don't be that stupid. Please, God in heaven. My God. I'm not talking to you, Sue. I'm just talking in general to people. You know what I mean? I don't paint a bullseye on myself. How, how, how do I paint a bullseye on myself? I'm just being honest and I'm showing you my own research. Where's the bullseye? I guess if you want me to live in a cult, if you want me to be part of some like multicellular creature that runs around without a, like a hive mind, then, you know, saying exactly what everybody else says, then, you know, I guess 
if I'm stepping out of line, you know, I guess that that would be considered painting a bullseye on myself. I don't know, but I'm not part of a cult. So I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I'm arguing. Someone said, so you're arguing for an edited list. No, I'm not arguing for editing anything. I'm just arguing for somebody intelligent enough to take out all of the let's find take out some of this bullshit and narrow the list down to a more comprehensive list that can be peer peer reviewed and get through. You know what I mean? Because I'm not even a doctor and I look at these and they're stupid. Of course, uh, a professional person is going to look at this and also think that this is stupid. You know what I mean? All I'm doing, guys, is reading articles. I don't need to have any expertise in anything. If I see an article that says somebody died, think about this. Remember when they were calling every COVID death? Sorry, remember when they were remember when the left was calling every death a COVID related death? Even like somebody who like like you know, jumped out of an airplane and their sh parachute didn't open and they died. Well, that was a COVID related death or something. That's what you're that's what people are doing now with the vaccines. OK, OK, you don't need to be an expert to realize that not every death during COVID was COVID related. You do not need to be an expert. OK, why can't you have the same exact mindset going into this situation? Why are you, why, why is, why are you guys embracing, not you guys, but like, I don't know, I'm reading some comments that are kind of freaking me out a little bit. Why are people embracing the hypocrisy of doing exactly what the people they hate are doing? Why is that a thing? Um, Coconut says, join a cult. That would be cool to watch. What was the number that you told me to look up? Somebody said, look up number six. Oh, I got it. 1064. Chloe Daw, 22, rugby player, rugby, here it is, rugby union player in Cornwall developed Hodgkin lymphoma cancer. Four months later, she died at home. Why is this on the list? If guys, if you're still simping for this list with all of this bullshit in it, like you're, you gotta, you're delusional. I'm sorry if that makes you, it offends you. You need to hear the truth sometimes. <laughs> No cause of death so far in this one. 38, former Ohio Ducks pro runner died. No cause of death. Why are we counting that as cardiac arrest? This is, guys, this, this is like one after another. Boom, 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 boom. Just go through all these. A lot, a lot of them are cardiac arrests. But guess what? A lot of them aren't. It's like, it's just dumb, man. I don't want to read a list. That's compromised by stupidity. I want to read, a, I want all of the cardiac arrest numbers narrowed down into a smaller list. And then I want to take that list and look at it and determine whether it's possible that the vaccine caused the cardiac arrest. Or maybe they just died of common cardiac arrest, like everybody prior to 2021. Maybe that's ha what happened. Uh, yeah, everybody's picking out numbers here. 1043. Let's go to 1043. Uh, Hans, female football goalkeeper, suffered a sudden cardiac arrest and died Tuesday. Okay, that's that's an example of cardiac arrest, right? Now, you could use this in a study if you're trying to say cardiac arrests. If you're trying to give a statistical analysis of like some sort of bell curve where or some sort of uh, study that that proves that cardiac arrests are much, much more common now than they were prior to 2021. I want to see that study. I don't want to see a study that's inflated by hundreds of articles that of people that die without cardiac arrest. I don't want to see an inflated study. Why would you want an inflated study? If you're a scientist, you you should be punching yourself in the face if that's the way you're thinking. Make that list. I can't make guys. I'm not. A, I'm not going to do this research. I don't have time for this. I'm just debunking this study. Uh, this list creeps me out. It should creep you out. Anyway, guys, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to go through all these, but look, look at now they go down to, um, hold on. They go down to what the bottom, whoops. Look, this is interesting at the free. I have to find the bottom because they, they specify. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> look at this. 
No documentation. Now, no, no reports below this point are included in the counts in the headline. Okay, so anything below this point is not included in the headline. Well, you shouldn't have included a fuck ton of stuff above this in the headline. No documents. There's a, here's a couple. Guy died in his sleep from apparently from a heart attack. No link whatsoever, right? Now, don't take any of this stuff. There's no, they already said that doesn't count. But let's go back up to the top. Watch this. Let's go back up to the top. Remember I told you to keep this in mind? <clears throat> this little mantra that they want you to repeat into your, into your head and like cry about while you're reading this list. Repeat this after reading each line. The COVID vaccine is a normal vaccine. The COVID vaccine is safe. These injuries and deaths are normal. Well, if I'm repeating that after the guy who drowned at a swimming pool, uh, yeah, the injuries and deaths are normal. Yeah, sorry. Or any of the people that died of cancer, yes, normal, 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 normal. Also, cardiac arrest, normal. These injuries and deaths are normal. Yes, yes. What the fuck is this? What is this kind of dumb shit? What are they trying to make me, like, what are they trying to, make you feel and think about like why are they trying to manipulate you into thinking into being stupid and not thinking for yourself fuck this study fuck these people fuck dot peter mccullough if you want to come on here and and correct yourself and uh explain why you used a study that has a bunch of bullshit in it i would love to talk to you i would love to somebody who, you know if anyone wants to clip this he's never going to come on and talk to a fucking vtuber but if he wants to um <clears throat> he's going to have to explain why there's people with p dying of cancer in this list and I guarantee you, he'll never come on because of that. He'll never. He'll only talk to people who will suck his dick, right? That's it, right? Now, I don't blame Joe Rogan. I'm sure Joe Rogan has, doesn't have time to do exactly what I did today and spend two, two and a half hours looking through all this shit. I don't blame. I, now, I like what Joe Rogan does. He talks to people, right? He ta lets them talk, lets them get their point across, pushes back sometimes. Um, I don't have anything against you know, somebody who's platforming people like this. I have nothing against it. And I don't have again, anything against Peter McCullough, Dr. Peter McCullough, um, at all, really, outside of this um, egregious study that he put out. <clears throat> you know, he wasn't, in, he did a lot of work with the mRNA vaccines, right? I, 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 I totally get it. I totally get it. Um, you know? Guys, my throat hurts is sore from talk, from yelling. Whew. Hold on a second. I'm going to read chat for a second and then possibly, um, hold on a second. Oh, mm. let me turn the music back on. What do you guys think in general? <clears throat> good, good or bad study? Good or bad study? <laughs> Live on, you're funny. Uh, technically, would just point out it says he was diagnosed with cancer. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> like a remake, but, but with COVID. Uh, let's see here. Uh, if you want me and if you want me and you can sort this list out, I'm not sure what that means. Um, I'm coming in here a bit late, says Kurt. Uh, is this cardiac arrest COVID list? of some sort, yes. It's supposed to be, but it's not. Or is this some kind of correlation study about vax effects on immune systems or something? No, it's it's literally supposed to be a study. It says in the study, it said it was about cardiac arrests <laughs> and they got all of it wrong. How do you, how are you a scientist and you, you're you that retarded? Like what is going on with our world guys? Please do your own research. Um. He fell down the stairs and landed on seven bullets. <laughs> That's and died of COVID. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Except this time, people are doing it with the vaccine. He fell down the stairs and landed on seven bullets and died of the vaccine. That's exactly what I'm fucking talking about. How about you stop? Please don't. Nobody do that. Nobody do that. You know what's a funny scene? You ever see Mystery Men with um with uh, Ben Stiller and Janine Garofalo? And she's like, <clears throat> you know, she's the bowler and her father was murdered. And she's like... Yeah, he fell down a he fell down an elevator shaft onto some bullets. <laughs> it's a funny movie, guys. Mystery Men is one of my favorite comedies ever. It's so stupid. Dane Cook is in it for a bit part. He plays a ballerina. I don't know, he plays somebody. The Waffler. Um Greg Kinnear, 
you know, um, Danny Trejo is in it. It's such a good, uh, uh, uh the Blue Raja, like, oh, what the fuck is that guy's name? Um, the guy from, um, Godzilla 98, like the, the Indian guy, he's in it. I don't know. I see Indian. I just probably said something racist. I don't know what he is. Mystery Men is so funny, guys. Uh, hey, look, if you're a pure blood and you want to have, you know, pr pride from that, that's fine. That's, you know, you do you. Um, I think some people are exaggerating exact, like, you know, I'll never procreate with somebody who's vaccinated. Like, I, I mean, I, I guess if you're, you know, that's fine. But, you know, I don't, I don't care. Um, there's no long-term studies to like, you know, make me, <laughs> there's no long-term studies about any of it, first of all. But, um, you know, it is a vaccine and it was rushed. It wasn't, I guess it was, you could say it was rushed, but guess who rushed it? Donald Trump. Okay. Um, we'll see. We'll see. If I, now this is funny. If I walk tomorrow, I show up, you know, if I walk outside and slip on a, some ice and die, uh, it was either COVID, it was either vaccine related or somebody's trying to kill me to shut me up from talking. One of the two. It has to be a conspiracy. It cannot be that I just slipped on ice. It has to be some extreme conspiracy, right? It's got to be. There is no other, nobody else dies. There are no other deaths ever recorded in history that weren't involved in some sort of conspiracy. <laughs> Zoolander over Mystery Man? I don't agree, personally. Um, haven't seen Dread yet. That's fine. You guys don't have to take the vaccine. I, I, I'm glad you didn't and you're still healthy. That's awesome. Also, COVID, um, having, getting COVID and having immunity from COVID, or just, just straight up bodily immunity from COVID, not immunity, but like having that COVID in, in you after getting sick is a very good, it's just as good as having a vaccine, probably better from, from my research now. Uh, the ice on the grassy knoll. Yeah. Blue steel, blue steel. That's, that's from uh, mystery. I mean, uh, from Zoolander. Um, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I, I don't. I, I don't ever talk about vaccines. I don't. The, the only thing reason I'm talking about it is because that NFL player, right? You know what I saw? Look at this. Let me find it. Hold on. Somebody said something really stupid the other day. Got to find it. Da -da 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 -da. I just thought this was really funny, really funny, and embarrassing. Here it is. <laughs> Jeremy Renner Hawkeye getting done in by the vaccine. He was scum. Could beat a woman, but not the vax. Won't be missed. <laughs> this guy thinks he won some argument. Please don't be this person. Now, maybe he's trolling, but you know, you do know that there are people that are this stupid, right? You do know that. People exist that are this stupid. That's a sad reality of Twitter, and it's a sad reality of reality. People are very dumb. Reading comprehension, listening comprehension are dropping. I, I want to see the. I want to see studies on listening and reading comprehension. I think people are losing significant. I think we're going down. We're going backwards as society. People don't read anymore. Nobody reads books. Um. Wait, what, what's, what's going on here? Somebody said... Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Somebody said... I hate people like him. Yeah, Lofty, I appreciate your enthusiasm and your enjoyment of various aspects of life. Well, I appreciate your appreciation of my appreciation of enthusi enthusiasm. Um, I'm going to get demonetized, 100% for talking about this. Whatever. Um, got those super chats. Thank whoever super chatted. Thank you. I'm going to go try to find it in a second. Um, I can't. There was something I wanted to read in chat that was important and I lost it. Uh, competency is racist. Uh, 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 let's see here. 
What's up, Joseph? Um, worst, worst study, not even a study. Um, agree on mystery man, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't make any sense. Oh yeah, does it make any, oh yeah, that was my favorite. Oh, guys, we're gonna watch a scene from Mystery Men since I'm already demonetized. <laughs> we're gonna watch a scene from Mystery Men. I have 20 plus notifications. I'm probably getting canceled because I'm talking about a vaccine. Um, that's one thing about belonging, you know, in a group, guys. If, if you're in some sort of group and, it, and they gang up on you and they kick you out of the group, you're fucked. That, don't ever be in a, don't ever like claim to be a part of some sort of group or something. Be your own person. Groups or cults or whatever you want to call them. I don't know. Just don't don't be in a cult. Because if you disagree with one thing in a cult, if you have one disagreement, you will get ostracized. You will get canceled. Whether you're right or wrong. Um, I'm not saying I'm in a cult. I'm just saying I, I don't I try I try actively try not to be. Now wait, what was I doing? Um where is, where the hell? Hold on. Glasses, that's it, glasses, I got it, I got it, I got it. This is one of my favorite scenes for Mystery Men. It's very funny. I'm gonna mute this other music. You know who doesn't think it's Okay, hold on, I gotta make it bigger. Why is my screen? Oh, I know why. Because I have widescreen. I have widescreen, guys. Unfortunately. I have to do this. I have a widescreen monitor, and it's really annoying sometimes. Okay, ready? It's a waste of money. It's a waste of money. You know who doesn't think it's a waste of money? Little Mr. Captain Amazing. Well, Captain, um, if we had a billionaire like Lance Hunt as our benefactor, yeah, we could spend a hundred and fifty. Hmm, that's because Lance Hunt is Captain Amazing. Oh, yeah. don't yeah, here we start go. that again. Lance Hunt wears glasses. Captain Amazing doesn't wear glasses. He takes them off when he transforms. That doesn't make any sense. He wouldn't be able to see. <laughs> I love it. They're all stupid. They're all really dumb. This is my favorite is the I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it, but but oh my god. They have stupid superpowers. Mr. Furious, Ben Stiller's character, his his superpower is getting angry, getting furious. <laughs> then we have the shoveler. Come on, Roy, let's get out of here. <laughs> He's, his superpower is banging on the hood of a car and trying to rip the fucking logo off the front. He's such a dumbass. The movie is so funny. It's just, it's basically a Mel Brooks movie for superheroes. It really is. Um, it's great. Tropic Thunder is the best Ben Stiller ever did. I agree. One of, one of. I, I like Along Came Polly. I like um, Meet the Parents. I like Ben Stiller and a lot of shit, guys. Uh, no, it's not Adam Sandler. <laughs> it's William H. Macy, Ben Stiller. Um, so Joseph said they just finished Neo 2. That's a great game. It's a fantastic game. Do you like it better than the first one? Um, let's see, Andy. And whenever I decide to have kids, I'm doing everything I ho homeschool them whether me or my spouse teaching i agree i want to homeschool kids. i would that's why i like uh, being a, a video editor because i work from home and i probably would i wouldn't give a fuck if my wife's like a doctor hey guys my wife's a doctor no i'm kidding if i had a doctor as a wife I, I would that would be awesome she could make the fucking money and i'll stay home and make mo videos and watch ninja turtles with my kids i don't give a shit that's why the that's where the manosphere loses me you got the like the guy has to go out and make the money Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> Let's relax. Like, it's just too much. Too much. Um, too much energy you're putting into your your identity and your, and your 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 you know what I mean? Ben, ben Shapiro's wife's a doctor, guys. Uh, Secret Life of Walter Mitty. I haven't seen it. It's the only that's one of the only ones I haven't seen. Joseph says the switch glaive mage build in the second one. I I nice. I mostly play Monster Hunter. 
to be honest, with like action games like that. It's, it's one of the only ones that I played Neo, the first Neo. I've played parts of the second one. I, pl I played, you know, the Dark Souls games, but I always go back to Monster Hunter and I'm a, I'm a Switch Axe main. Main build, my Switch Axe. Um, and the hammer. I love the hammer. It could be a house husband. I'd take first chance I could. Yeah. Bro, sign me up to be the stay-at-home dad for real. Tired of working. Hey, we got some normal people here. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean, guys? Oh. Anyway, hey, hey, hey if you're if you're yeah, you know, we're a little losing some followers and um, viewers, which makes sense because I finished what I was talking about. But if you're about to go, just uh, know that um, I'm on Twitter under Lofty Pixels, not Lofty YT. I have two Twitter. Here, I'll just pull it up because everybody gets confused about this. Everybody gets confused about this. Here's my profile. Do not follow the other one. Lofty Pixels. My other one is Lofty YT. I have two because one of them got banned, and this one has 3,000 followers, and the other one has, uh, let's see, like 11,000 or something. I want to use, use this one. Okay? I'm using this one. So follow this one if you're not already, because you might miss out on all kinds of stuff. Um, in terms of streaming and videos and stuff. Someone says, Summer, summer 90, 19, Switch Axe? No, Switch Axe, Snafu. It's a, it's a, it's a weapon in Monster Hunter. <laughs> but I switch my ass sometimes in my seat. Um, I'm a normal person. Dual Blades Hunting Horns. Nice. Uh, summer says, I hear myself. Thanks for the $10. I really appreciate it. It's awesome. Um, I hear I'm trying to read. It keeps moving up and down. I hear myself when you express your opinion and explain what you like and why. Love it. Authentic. Wow. Thank you. That's awesome. Uh, I, that's what I like about other people that I follow. So I'm glad you, I'm glad you agree. I'm glad we're on the same page. We're, we're buddies. Um, I, listen, I like you and respect your opinions. Oh, I, I, Sumo, I, I understand that. I didn't take anything personally. I respect your opinions as well. Um, you know, we're just trying, you know, some conversations are more difficult than other conversations. And I like all my followers. Um, I'm probably going to, I might stream Saturday. Oh, thanks again, Summers. Appreciate it. Um, I might stream Saturday. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Flashcast. I don't know. I I feel like I have to just oh, fuck. I don't I don't even know. I don't even know what to <laughs> Anyway, if, if there if there is no flashcast or whatever, I might stream on this channel and just do a little bit of a a, a New Year's No, I have topics, guys. Here's here's a lineup. If you're new to the channel, here's a lineup of what I might be doing in the future. I'm going to have on some guests right? I think I'm going to have Camelot on my channel and do a little interview with my Cam boy. I'm going to try to have on some other people. I might have on Umbrella Guy. I might have on, if, if Nick Ricada wants to come on, I might try to get him on to talk about some stuff. Uh, we might talk about, like I don't know, I'll see if he wants to talk about like lawyer movies, like classic like law movies and crime thrillers. Um, so, you know, I always do entertainment related stuff if I can. Movies, video games, anime, mostly. Um, but I am doing Tier, more tier lists. People like the last one. So I'm going to do a horror movie tier list. I'm going to do a director's tier list where I talk about my favorite directors, which are 99% men. Um, so that's going to go well with the feminists. Uh, <laughs> and I might talk, I mean, I'm going to do a best actor tier list. I'll probably do best actress as well. Those are going to be fun because we get to, I love streams where we just get to sit back, relax, listen to some music, talk about movies and actors we like, and, you know, geek out about old old movies and performances and you know love that stuff if so if you guys like that stuff please subscribe oh we're rge i'm gonna have rge on definitely i'm gonna have on i'm gonna try to get on some interesting people like people that i'm not always talking to as well but i also don't want to get over i, I don't want to get i don't i'm not a vtuber if you think i'm a vtuber i'm not because vtubers have this weird thing where they put up a schedule every week and they're like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday i'm busy every day of the week no i can't do i would i would lose my mind so it's probably weekly at this point 
couple times a week spontaneously. But mostly I would say I would say I'm going to try to set something up for either Wednesday or Thursday of each week and do one of, because those are the those are the times where people aren't watching other streams. Uh, did anyone like live action Mob Psycho 100? Never saw it. I don't like Japanese live action content. I don't like almost any of them. I think they're very corny and the characters look, they're trying too hard to be anime characters. <clears throat> don't think it works very well. You have to kind of, here's, here's, a, can I say this? Here's how I would adapt a live action anime. I would take something like Vinland Saga. Everybody know what that is? It's about Vikings. And I would make a movie. I would basically make The Northman. Which is, by the way, which is very similar to Vinland Saga in terms of its uh, story arc. If you know anything about either of them. But I wouldn't try to do anime style. I Like, The Northman to me is is technically a pretty good anime adaptation. If you, if you want to be a little bit forgiving about that. You know what I mean? Like... That's kind of how I would treat the source material. I would probably not, because you're going to fail if you try to make it look like an anime. You're going to fail. You're going you're gonna to look stupid and corny. The actors are going to suck. Instead, what you should do is probably do adapt it to screen in terms of its visual style. I don't know. Maybe that's controversial of me to say. I'm not talking about changing character motivations or changing anything about the story. I'm talking about the look, the feel, that kind of stuff. I don't think it's a good idea to try and make stuff look like live action anime because it's often so incredibly corny and cringe. Um, like it's a lot of the times it looks like cosplay. That's what I'm trying to say. The Northman is a great Viking movie. And it, you know, that's how I would, that's the aesthetic that I would go for with Vinland Saga, personally. Shh. Exactly. Does that make sense to you guys? Like The Matrix, for example, is a great anime adaptation. It's a great, it's not an adaptation, but it's basically influenced by a million different anime. The Matrix has a great film cinema style to it. It's not trying to be an anime. It's literally a martial arts action movie. Right. You know what I mean? That's kind of how I would approach adapting an anime, you know? And I'm also not the kind of person who needs stories to be 100% identical to the anime, you know, because a lot of the times you can't with like, you know, 75 episodes, you got it, you got to do your own thing a little bit. But if the thing that the here's the here's the problem, guys, if you're doing your own story, version of the anime, like a condensed version of it, it still has to be good. 90% of the time when Hollywood does that, they suck ass at doing it. That's the problem. It's not necessarily the problem that they're changing stuff. It's because what they change it to sucks. It makes it much worse. You know? I don't know. Kind of just rant. Maybe we should have it. This, this should be its own stream, probably. I can bring on, like, uh, RGE or, like, um, other, maybe, you know, other anime fans. Maybe some of you guys can come on. Uh... Ghost in the Shell live action. I didn't love it. Didn't love it. It was very pretty to look at, but I thought it was very stale. And um, I also, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I also think, man, this is a totally different discussion. I'm going to wrap this up, but I'll say this. I don't like live action <laughs> almost anything. I think, um, Sorry, I'm just drinking my coffee. My throat's going to explode. <clears throat> I think the new Mario movie looks incredible. Right? I think it's great. I think it's perfect. I think Mario should be animated 100%. Live action Mario would be a disaster. I have the same exact feelings about Sonic, about Mega Man, about Donkey Kong, about Legend of Zelda. Um, a lot, guys, I, I, I have the same thoughts about almost all of my favorite video games. Live action is not a good idea. Look at Detective Pikachu. Is that movie terrible? No, but it is not even close to anything like any of the video games. And 
it's it's just a it's just an okay kids movie. It's not it's not um its full potential has not even been realized. I would love an animated Pokemon movie in the style of like How to Train Your Dragon or something, right? Or even like a Miyazaki style. I think whatever Nintendo is doing, or I'm sorry, whatever you know the Pokemon company is doing right now with that. I don't watch the, I don't watch any of the the Pokemon shows. I think they're too low effort and they're they're geared towards kids too much. I want a serious fucking movie. I want something that everybody's going to the theaters to watch. I think animated, pick like Pixar quality animation would be incredible with Pokemon. You could you could do the entire and you could do a whole adventure story with that. Same thing with Sonic, guys. I think Sonic should be animated. I'm sorry. Live action Sonic is cringe. Sonic is the best part of those movies. But I don't care. Like, why? I, I just don't. I'm not a big fan of those movies, guys. I'm sorry. I, I'm a big Sonic Adventure fan. These movies are, they don't remind me almost anything of the game. It feels like I'm watching a movie, like a 90s movie with good CGI. Like, a, like an old throwback video game adaptation for kids. You know, like like whatever that Jim Carrey Grinch movie was back in the day. Like, I don't I don't think it's the, the best thing that they could do for Sonic. Sonic deserves something like what, what we're, we're witnessing with the new Mario movie. That would elevate Sonic to a much, much higher standard for me. What of rambling? Yes, if done correctly. It's correct. Live action Zelda might work if done correctly. Yeah, it could. But can you imagine trying to cast the perfect live action Link? And not failing miserably. Good luck uh, trusting any Hollywood studio to do that. Um, you know what I mean? Like, that's just like, you know what I mean? Same thing with Pokemon. Like, guys, I don't, I think we should just be demanding that these studios do more animated shit. Especially if the new Mario is good. Can we do that, please? C come on. <clears throat> Gotta go. See ya, buddy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Same goes for, oh, wait, hold on. Somebody said same goes the other way with your avatar. I don't know what that means. I am live action and animated. I am uh, a dual. I am two people combined. Now, um, hello. Uh, let's see. All right. So make a list. What anime live actions do you think worked? I don't think. <laughs> do I, think I don't think any of them worked. Maybe the Death Note, maybe the Roroni Kenshin one, just because it had like decent, decent choreography. But the anime or the Roni Kenshin anime is so much better than the movie. It's like not even close. Um, I don't, I don't like the death note live action animes in Japan. I don't, I think they're corny. I don't like them. The manga is so much better. And the, and the anime, I hope I'm not, I'm not trying to sound rude. I'm just giving you my opinion. Uh, going to these anime conventions paid off as they sell new Blu-rays expensive, but worth, uh, the collection. Nice. Um, do you think Eggers could pull off Eclipse from Berserk? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Robert Eggers? Yep. Yes, he could. Now, could he pull off Berserk as, as a movie? I don't know. I think that should, if anything, it should be a TV show, <laughs> right? There's so much going on. You can't do a movie. Um, I don't know if he could pull it off, honestly. That's really that would be like a little putting a little bit too much trust, but I do love Robert Eggers. I think you know who did the good a good eclipse? You, you wait, hold on. I don't want to open Audacity. That's my recording software. You know who did a good eclipse? Let me pull this up for a second. Watch this. Have any of you guys actually uh, re realized this before? Watch this. Ready? Can you see this? This is from Infinity War. On the right is Berserk. On the left is Infinity War. This blew me away. When I saw this in theaters, I was like, holy shit. I actually lost my mind for a second. I, I think I clapped. I think I... You know what I mean? Like, I love that they referenced Berserk in Infinity War with Thanos. I fucking love it. Um, you know what I mean? They, they did a great job here. 
They did a great job here. I love I love homages like this where it's not a direct rip off, but done worse. You know, like a lot of the times if you're directly ripping something off, you're going to do a worse job. This is just different enough where it's like a really good homage and the color palettes are different. It has its own unique thing. You know, I love it. I think that's it's awesome. Um, yeah, personally, I disliked Edge of Tomorrow. Oh, OK. Somebody mentioned, oh, is it Breaking Bad. Oh, uh, hold on. I have a question. How is Fate Stay Night so good and all the other subsequent Fates that suck ass? I don't know, but I like Fate Zero, so <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen too many of them. Edge of Tomorrow, Old Boy, Ichi the Killer are all good adaptations. Hmm. I didn't know Edge of Tomorrow was an adaptation. I didn't know Ichi the Killer was an adaptation. And I've never read the Old Boy influence. But, you yeah. know, I mean, if you're talking about any adaptation ever, I mean, I, I was just talking about anime adaptation. I didn't know Edge of Tomorrow was an anime. I think Jurassic Park is my favorite book adaptation because it made the book, it made it better. <laughs> it actually made it better than the book, in my opinion. Who would, who would play Guts and Griffith? Henry Cavill and fucking some femboy. I don't know. <laughs> Let me think about that one for a second. Definitely Henry Cavill is guts. Um, wow. Let me think about that one. Who could play Griffith? Robert Pattinson? No. I don't, I don't know. I mean, wait, let me think about this. I mean, they, they're supposed to be younger, which is where this is hypothetical. Wow. I don't know, guys. Shaved head James McAvoy would be the perfect live action one punch man. <laughs> I like James McAvoy. He's great. Breaking Bad is literally me. Keto Corner's in the chat. <laughs> Breaking Bad is literally you. Guess who's literally me? Deckard from Blade Runner. You know who's behind me? I don't know if you recognize Rachel. Mwah! Give her a little smooch. Oops. Hold on. <laughs> Kino, everybody go sub to Kino Corner. He's got a really good, he put out a really good video uh, recently, breaking down American Psycho. He's doing, doing a little bit of a, uh, a skit, a skit, a sketch, a skit. What are they, what are they called? Like a funny intro, intro and doing some, doing some acting in his video. Uh, great channel. Let's see here. Uh, who would play Guts Griffith Breaking Bad? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Timothy Chalamet as Griffith. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, yeah, but then you then you couldn't do guts as <laughs> you couldn't do Henry Cavill as guts. The age gap would be wild. <laughs> Blade Runner is the great is great. The haters of it suck. I agree. I don't I don't understand why people hate on it. Um <laughs> You know what's funny? I think it's funny that oh I, I literally I was going to say something and I forgot. I, I, I was so going to say something was funny about Blade Runner. Give me a second. Oh, I was going to say, you know when you have to like do the capture thing where you're like, I'm not a robot. And you're clicking that around your screen. Why are robots asking us if we're not, if we're human? Or, you know what I mean? Isn't that kind of freaky? We're being asked if we're human by a robot. <laughs> what is that all about? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this whole AI stuff's freaky. Um, guys, I just watched. I've been watching some good horror movies on Shutter. I, I recommend that app if you're. They're not all great. There's some decent ones. Um, some decent ones. Um, but yeah, like I said, next next time I do a stream, it will, it will either be something movie related, like a like a like I said, a horror movie tier list, a, a director's or an actor's tier list, um, something like that. I've been doing too much, too much like weird content, like news related content lately. Don't want to do that. I'm not a politics person, but I just had to debunk this stupid study tonight, guys. If you're coming in late, sorry, I debunked it. Go back and watch like the middle part of the stream. And, um, you know, they're <laughs> athletes are not dropping like flies as much as people think they are from, uh, from the vaccines. Um, have you ever seen the video of a, uh, uh, on a robotic arm clicking the button saying they are not a robot. No. Um, no bullet train jihad. Or butlerian jihad. I'm not sure what that means. 
Um, oh, uh, you were the weirdo in chat agreeing with Flash about Blade Runner. Oh, I'm sorry you don't like a masterpiece. I apologize. <laughs> the new one, we're talking about the old one. The new one, it's got very, I love watching the new one on my 4K TV, like my 65 inch. It's beautiful. It's great to watch visually. Can't stand Jared Leto. Can't stand Jared Leto in that movie. Uh, and some other things I'm not a fan of. I like Dune. Like Dune. Excited for Dune Part 2. Guys, I'm going to leave in a second, but I want to give you a, just before I do, I want to tell you what I'm looking forward to in 2023. Guess what? We got Dune Part 2. We got a, we got a Scorsese movie com coming out with Leonardo DiCaprio or in Scorsese. Killers of the Flower Moon. We got a David Fincher movie coming out with Michael Fassbender. Um, we have John Wick Chapter 4. We also have M. Night Shyamalan's Knock at the Door coming out, uh, I think, in this spring, which I'm excited about. I like it. Oh, Kino, yeah, I agree, Kino. It's a very flawed story, but I, visually, I think it's awesome. Um, but yeah, guys... I don't know. I'll have an M, M Night. One of these days, I'll do a a drunk M Night Shyamalan stream, and we'll just we'll just talk. You know what I mean? Like M Night Shyamalan's one of those directors where you can sit down with your friends and just talk about for like four hours and just get drunk and like laugh about shit. Because he has a, like made good shit, but some of it's so bad. Now, I like I like this new trailer. I think it's I'm, I think the movie has some potential to be like really crazy. Um, it looks like there's some apocalyptic event or something. And like, I don't, I, I like when there's like really weird, unexplained things happening. I thought old was decent. It was corny and dumb, but I, I liked, I liked the, the pacing of it. Resident Evil 4 remake in March. Yep. We have a lot of video game stuff coming out. De Dead Space remake. I agree. Um, you know what I mean? I think next year is going to be a good year for movies. I think this year was a good year for movies. I I just watched Tar last night with um Kate Blanchett is fucking amazing. And the movie's the movie's good, but she was amazing. Kate Blanchett. Um and I I you know, this year was great. Great for great for cinema, bad for pop culture. I always that's what I've been saying lately. This year was terrible for pop culture. Uh unless you're an Avatar fan. But that's really about it. And, and and Top Gun, I guess. But everything else sucked. I love Avatar. Love it. The new one. I don't like I don't love the original, but I, I like the the original. I don't hate it. Oh, you bought the Blu-ray of Tar? Man, I don't know if I could watch that movie again. It's oh man, that's kind of a downer. It is a brilliant performance. And I liked. Yeah, Tar is about a woman who's like a conductor. She's like the um, she plays Lydia Tar. I, 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 she has some sort of psychological issues that are plaguing her, 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 her career, and it it gets kind of brutal. Um, it's very slow, but I, I like it a lot. I love when she's screaming at the the, the people in the upstairs, and she's like. <sighs> She has the accordion and she's like, your father died. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Uh, the, uh, wait, it says, I ain't got any beef with him. I loved his Unbreakable trilogy. There you go. Love Unbreakable. I thought it was funny. I watched Quentin Tarantino talking about Unbreakable. He said it's the best film of the 2000s was Unbreakable. That's his opinion. Quentin Tarantino. Um, I love it. I think it's fantastic. I love Unbreakable. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I like The Sixth Sense. I like Signs. I like The Village. I like the, I like Split and The Visit. And I kind of like Old. Old's just kind of like meh. Mid. But I guys, I'm, I, I'll debate anyone over the, vil the Village. Fantastic Roger Deakins photography. Fantastic James Newton Howard score. Fantastic score. Excellent score. Um, really good acting, Joaquin Phoenix. I thought the I thought the concept is really cool. Uh, I know some people hated the tw the ending because it was too predictable, but but at the, I don't know. That doesn't make a movie terrible, in my opinion. I like the concept of it. I think it's a clever concept. 
you know? I like the village. I think it gets hate way too much hate for absolutely no reason. And you know, you know what it is? It's a meme. They just repeat the same thing that everybody else says. Oh, the, the twist was predictable. The twist was predictable. And they, you know what? They don't even remember why it was predictable. I've asked people this question. And they're like, I was like, oh, why was the twist predictable? And they go, it's been a while since I've seen it. I don't, I don't really remember. But is it just predictable? You know, you know, no. You just heard that a million times on Twitter. And you're just repeating it back to me. How about you, like, watch it again? Jeez. Holy fuck. Uh <laughs> Summer is 19 says lofty good night. Oh, thank you, buddy. Nice to chat. Um, oh yeah, those are good movies. Those are good movies. Six Sense maybe sad at the end. Um Yeah. We'll we'll do, do what guys guys, we'll we'll do an M Night Shyamalan stream. We'll do another movie stream. I could tell you guys like hanging out and talking about this shit. So I will uh keep an eye out for all those the streams. Called the village within five minutes. Well, there you go. You can now you can just enjoy the the acting and the performances and the and the aesthetic and the and the camera work and the sets. They had built that entire village. It was really good set, set design. Um, you know, I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff to like about it besides the, if if the twist. I don't I I I, I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, we'll we'll talk about all this shit later. I'm gonna go because my throat is hurting me and like I'm just like. Eh. I don't know how people stream for like 16 hours. Like EFAP. How do they how does EFAP do it? What do they, I guess I'll have to have like another person on or something. I can't grab my character. I'm trying to grab my character. Hold on. Oh my god, I can't grab There we go. Okay. All right, chat. Thanks for joining. We'll chat later. Uh like I said, I do like a stream, at least one stream a week, sometimes.